fine all across his body and up his ears. Truly regal, less than $50, Oh, even on his little cotton tail. I know, I like this <laughs> I like this piece too. And one of the reasons I like it is because of the dimension of it. It's got some size to it, you mm -hmm. know. It's not one of the smaller pieces, you know. I do, it's oftentimes I'll do pieces that, well, are, are within the range of what I normally do figural like that. And but sometimes I'll take a piece and I'll say, you know, this needs to be an ornament, so I'll downsize it to this. Or it needs to be out in the garden, so I'll you know, raise it up to like that. And I do that periodically. And this is one of those pieces that I've got. You can judge from, from you know, my hands, and I haven't measured it, but I guess you probably have dimensions there. I but, do. Okay. Okay, from, from nose to tail, nine and a half inches. Okay. From top of his ear down to his paw, ten and a quarter inches. Okay, so you can see it's got some mass to it, so it... Once again, as a thing to decorate with, you can't beat this. Now, what, what Jan would do with this, she would take this piece, mm -hmm. she would maybe put it on a little stand or something like this, and okay. then she would have, if we were doing it for, you know, for Easter or, or you know, our Easter dinner or whatever, she'd put it on a dining room table, and then she'd come out from there with any, everything you can imagine. And it'd be colored eggs, and it'd be, mm. you know, these silver ornaments and different mm. things like that. And it would be that green grass, and it would be mm. maybe some of that silver tinselly stuff, and, oh. and just, you know, it, you know, everything you can imagine. She Flowers and candy and, you know, uh, all that sort of thing. And the eggs that went with the basket that, you, you know, that, that we... Yeah, or put it right every, next to your 15th anniversary exactly, basket. Exactly, you know, yeah. cluster it together and just make something that you can celebrate the joy of spring with. And this, this could be a beautiful centerpiece for that. And it's also another one of the pieces that's got the UV coating in the event that you want to put it out on your patio, you want to put it outside. You know, or uh, or, you, or you want to put it in the garden. Yeah, I yeah. would love that. Look at just again the colors of this, because it's the white woodland. So it's, it's got the neutrality mm -hmm. and the simplicity and the subtlety in of color that makes it very easy to use and consider as a a decor piece. Uh, you know, easy to decorate around and decorate with rather than uh, you know something that has to be a standalone piece because of its colorway. And I love how you're able to, with, with the way you hand carve this, the movement of the fur. I mean, it really looks like fur as if this was blowing back in a nice spring breeze. It's incredible how you can capture that well, in a solid piece like this. That's part of the, well, the artistic thing, I guess, of envisioning what I think a piece needs to look like, you know? And typically when, well, with me, the way it works with me is, we, you know, we'll make a, a list in our brainstorming sessions of what we want as a line extension and what we want as new pieces. And, and the list is always very, very cryptic as far as the way it describes what, what, we, what I need to do. Mm -hmm. And it'll be thrown in there from all of the co-brands and the different people and, the, and my people and their people and all, and we'll distill it down to a list. As soon as I read that word, I get a mental image. Hmm instantly that's the way it works wow. now at that point all of the design work is done <laughs> <laughs> sure. so from that point on it's just a matter of making wow. it look like what i see up here wow and that's there's no uh, there's no difference here but now, it's truly an art now what i tried to do on this and what i wanted to do this is what i want this is what my goal on this mm -hmm. piece was to cover it with the rose modeling elements in a monochromatic neutral color Every, you know, every bit of it, and yet make it subtle enough so that when you look at the, mm. at the bunny mm -hmm. initially, the, 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 the profusity of design doesn't register other than the fact I'm looking at a bunny. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No, it's beautifully and, and that's, done that's, that way. That's what I, uh, that's what I try to do. Uh, but he, he's really, you're right, but yet he stands out. You've, you don't see bunnies like this anywhere yeah. um so it's truly an original it's something special that you'll be thrilled to pull out year after year leave out all spring or all summer long or and all year all year round look at the pink in the ears it's put a, just stinking put, adorable put a bow on him and uh and a, and a few ornaments around him and he's a christmas bunny mm, yeah oh i love it yeah right because bunnies are around in the winter sure at least are. they are in my backyard sure they are, yeah. <laughs> hd 18356 is your item number for our white woodland. All it takes is one bunny and a big dose of imagination. You know what, I bet you your wife would love to take what we're gonna see from Jill Bauer next and put it along the tabletop with this bunny and with your Easter I'll bet basket. So. Yeah, hi Jill. I know what's coming. <laughs>
<laughs> Hi, Stacy. Hi, Jim. We have just a quick sneak peek here of what's going to be coming up at